Hey guys, it's Johnny. Uh, I am just coming back to give you yet another video because you're probably already sick of me, I know. But I had another haul video that I wanted to create and so I figured I'd film it while I'm filming all the rest of them. So if you see all of these videos in succession and wonder why the hell I'm wearing the same outfit in all of them, it's not because I don't know how to do laundry, it's just because I filmed them all in a row because I got all the boxes all at once. <clears throat> so this haul video is not Scentsy. This is for a company called Party Light. Um, I am not a consultant for them or whatever they're called. Um, I just ordered it from their website online and randomly picked a, a consultant that was in my area to assign the order to. So, um, congrats to the consultant who got my order. Anyways, so, um, Party Light is scented wax and fragrance and I guess they do other things. I'm sure they, I think they do like candles and candle holders and um, it's another fragrance company. I don't know. Anyways, all I know is at one point I received in like a random bundle of wax that I bought from, you know, eBay once upon a time, um, some party light candles and, or wax, scented wax. <laughs> Get your brain together. Oh my goodness. Um, so I was like, well, let me go see if, if some of these I liked, some of them I was like, meh. Uh, but I wanted to try some fresh wax from them to see if there was a difference in scent, smell, throw, quality, whatever else. So I ordered a bunch. Um, it came in this cute little box. There's a whole, it's filled to the brim. Um, but they have their little packaging, like scent with joy, which is kind of funny because I think Scentsy is like scent with love or something. So I don't know. All the different puns on scents. Um, so I pulled up the, I, my, on my iPad, the website, um, for these different fragrances, because I don't remember the scent notes, and I figured with some of them, because some of them say they're something, and, but their scent description, I feel remember, was, like, something very different. Um, but to give you an idea of what I got, um, I went into their outlet section, so they have, like, a clearance section, it's called Outlet, um, and I went into their Flameless fragrance, whatever section, and found a bunch of the wax melts. Now, they are, um, let me double check. They are the same, okay, so they are the same amount of fluid ounces uh, of wax as like a Scentsy bar would be. Um, they're both 3.2 ounces. Um, however, Scentsy bars are like six bucks, and these ones are normally, I think, seven or eight or something like that. Um, so a little bit more expensive than Scentsy, um, for reference, and a hella more expensive than something like a Walmart wax, which I have some, I have some great Walmart waxes that I just love to pieces. Anyways, so, um, I found them in the outlet section, they were on clearance, uh, and then there was a coupon or a flash sale or whatever the whatever they call them, extra discount for the weekend. And I was like, sure, why not? If I can get these for like, I think I ended up getting each of them for like around four bucks-ish um, with the discounts. Um, so it, for me, it was like, okay, at that price, let me try a bunch of them and compare them to uh, the old scent party light ones that I had tried way before and see if they're different or like I like them or not or whatever. Anyways. So, in no particular order, I'm just going to grab whatever's on top of the box, I'm going to read it, and I'll try to find the scent notes, but if it's taking too long, I'll just kind of, like, nix that. Um, so, this first one's called Midnight Orchid, and it is uh, described by them as, uh, the night is captured with an intense incense of rose and cardamom, intensified by spiced hints of black pepper. Ooh, I get the rose. I know how I'm gonna feel about that. I get like the peppery note. I don't know if I get cardamom. I do get a powdery note to this. Um, I also, just a side note, I find it really funny that this scent is called Midnight Orchid and there's nothing in the scent description about an orchid. It's like rose and pepper and spice. It's like a powdery, 
spice floral. It smells nice on cold. Um, I'm curious to know. You get more of the pepper and the spice note on the bottom of it. I'll be curious to see how this warms, to see how strong that rose portion of it is. Or if, like, maybe the peppers and the rose together make an orchid smell. I don't know. Um, interesting. I'm, I'm, I'm not upset about that fragrance, but it's definitely strange to call it an orchid and it has nothing about orchids. Anyways, next one is called Plum Brandy. And I think all these are still available in their clearance section. Mmm, okay, so this is, uh, Plum Brandy, an elixir of juicy plum and black currant is combined with the essence of Italian bergamot and blood orange, then splashed with Smoked brandy in an elevated fragrance cocktail. Well, I get plum. I don't know if I specifically get, like, blood orange. I can kind of see where the bergamot might be coming through, like, that citrusy vibe that bergamot gives. Blood orange. I don't know that I get blood orange. Maybe a little bit of a citrus smell. Smoked brandy. I don't know if I get brandy specifically, but, well, there is a smoky note. I guess you could call there's a brandy note on the bottom. I, again, I don't know specifically. Ooh, is this like melting a little bit? Hmm. Anyways, this is a soft wax. It smells good. It smells like a plum brandy, I guess. Um... Side note on these, one thing I didn't particularly like um, about their package, or not the packaging, but like the shipping of them, was that uh, there was no ice pack. And I live in California, and it gets hot in the summer. I mean, it gets hot anywhere, generally speaking, in the summer. But uh, with Sensi, during the summer months, they tend to wrap them in like mylar foil pouches and put an ice pack in to keep the wax from melting. Um, the, this company, uh, does not apparently do that. Um, and I don't know that it's not like, I don't think it's necessary if fortunately, like if I was home and it wasn't particularly hot today, but even then, like I felt when I opened this, like the wax is just on the feeling the cases were kind of warm on the outside. So that was a little bit of like a, you know, they, they maintain their shape, but um, I would have preferred to see like an ice pack or something to kind of help regulate the heat in case, I don't know, these got dropped off in the middle of someone's sunny porch. Anyways, so plum brandy kind of smells like plum brandy. That I got sidetracked. Sorry, guys. All right, next up we, we have Scarlet Sunflower. And this one, let me sniff it. This one is described as... Enjoy blood oranges, and what's a blood orange, and fragrant red saffron, accentuating white dahlia, vibrant violet leaves, and creamy musk. So many notes. Woo! I get the musk. I get a creamy note, for sure. I think I get the violet leaves. Because it reminds me a little bit of, like, lilacs and violets, and you can kind of smell the violet in there. So yeah, I can see the violet component. White Dahlia. Um, I don't know exactly what a Dahlia smells like anymore, so it's been a hot minute. And I guess I get saffron. I don't know. I cook with saffron, and I don't necessarily equate saffron with a scent so much as I do with like a flavor and a coloring like if you make saffron rice and you put it in you get like a little bit of a flavor but you also get the like the yellow coloring to the rice so I couldn't tell you if I knew what saffron smells like I do like this there's a floral note to this it's like a creamy floral which is kind of interesting it almost gives me like a coconutty vibe there's a little bit of a powdery note, but it's not as intense as that orchid imposter that we smelled earlier. Well, I smelled earlier. So, that one's not too bad. Alright, moving on. We've got Blackberry Cedar Leaf. It's green. 
wonder what it's going to smell like. Maybe blackberries? Or if we're going for their descriptions, it won't have any blackberries in it. Ooh, fall, fall forest spruce and white birch essence combine with deeply rich blackberry and sweet hollyberry to create this aromatic wonder. So you call it cedar leaf, but then you describe it as having spruce and white birch essence. That makes sense. That being said, this is a very like wintry, piney vibe I'm getting. It smells good. There's like a very fresh, crisp note to this. I don't know that I smell blackberry. I kind of smell hollyberries. There's like a weird depth note and it's like a, a pungent, not quite pungent note, that's not the right word. It's like a almost smoky note. Which I wonder if that's like the blackberry, the deeply rich blackberry. Um, this is like a oh, winter scent. I don't know if I'm even going to warm this until winter, to be quite honest. Which would be unfortunate if I then like it and then they don't make it anymore because it's already in clearance. Oh, well. Not like I don't have a lot of wax to begin with. Dune grass. Anyone want to take guesses on what this isn't going to smell like? I bet you it's not going to smell like grass. A swirl of sun-kissed citrus combines with melon while beach florals dance through dune grass and settle over white driftwood. So maybe. Now this one actually kind of smells like what I thought it would smell like. It's a very clean, fresh, sweet, grassy smell. So if you think of like fresh cut grass, which is like, grass after you mowed it from Scentsy. This is sweeter than that. And it's much sweeter than the greener grass scent that I smelled from them from Party Light before. It has more of a floral note to it. I think the melon is bringing that heavy sweetness. Because the beach florals in this are light, so I think it's the melon that's really bringing up the sweet tones. I like this one. I don't know if I get white driftwood though. I guess there's like a little bit of a woody note. Like a sea wood. I get driftwood. I mean, I like this one. Actually, this might be one of my favorites so far. But it's also probably because all the other ones are like really heavy scents. All right, next one we have is Santorini Sea Blossoms. What do we think? This is a yellow wax. What do we think? Is it gonna be citrusy? A sparkling swirl of ozone and palm leaves with white nectarine, creamy coconut, and plumeria, followed by vanilla wood. Okay, <laughs> their descriptions have so many scent notes in them, it's like, I need to take multiple breaths to read it. Ooh, this is good. It's definitely creamy. I get the sweet nectarine, whatever it was, white nectarine. Yeah, so I get coconut and nectarine. I get the vanilla. I don't know if I get ozone and palm leaves. Maybe like a fresh note. And plumeria. I don't know if I get plumeria. This wax is very, likes to melt in your fingers. Almost more so than Scentsy I feel like, but This one's really good. If you were looking for a similar scent in Scentsy, this would be like kind of a mix of, it's very similar to Rio Beach. Yeah, this is a little bit um, more subtle than Rio Beach, a little less fruity, but it's on that same vein. I like this one, okay. All right, let's see, what do we got next? We got, Coconut teak wood. I really hope this one smells good and like coconuts and teak wood. This is supposed to smell like an exotic blend of coconut and dark teak wood with violet petals, lily of the valley, and vanilla musk. Oh, please be something I like. 
Oh my god, this is... I might have to buy more of these, actually. If this warms as nice as it smells, this is hands down my favorite so far. Oh, so this reminds me of a little bit of like a more woody, like a deeper wood version of, um, I'm going to give you Scentsy references because I, most of you might like Scentsy. Anyways. Sensi is Circle of Life, the Simba, Lion King, Sensi Bar. This smells like a deeper, more woody version of that. Because that one's a little bit more like, it reminds me of Bath & Body Works laid on thick, like the blue shea butter, ultra rich moisture cream smell. So it's like a little bit more vanilla-y, sandaly wood. Shea butter smell. This one is like wood and coconut. Oh, this is so good. All right, so coconut teakwood. I'm going to stop huffing it, but I love this one. And it's still available, and I may get some more of this just because. So I might worm that tomorrow. Anyways, white amber. How many different things do we think are going to be inside white amber? Glowing white amber and black jasmine. Ooh, marry into an exotic, intoxicating aroma with cedarwood and fragrant incense. So four. This. Of course, this one has the least amount of things to read. Hmm. I definitely get the cedar in there. That's actually like the first thing I smell, like cedar and amber. This is a very like cologne -y scent, like a, but it's like a soft cologne, not, so if you like, if you, if you smelled like Echo from Bring Back My Bar, it's like wham, bam in your face, manly scent. This is like, a very soft cologne. It would be a really good bedroom scent. I don't know. I guess I get the jasmine, black jasmine note. I don't know what the difference between white and black jasmine smell like, so maybe it's a more muted smell. I guess I sort of get a floral. I feel like there's a little bit of a powdery note. I I know some people say that jasmine sometimes has a powdery note. I don't know. I think fresh jasmine doesn't, so... I think the cedar mixing with the jasmine might be doing that, but... Or maybe it's the incense, which is the one note I've just completely ignored during this sniff. It smells good. It smells kind of like a cologne almost a little bit of like a soap, like a fancy soap, but on the masculine side of things. I like it. I don't know if I love it. All right. Let's talk about the last three, and then I'll let you guys go, because you're probably bored hearing me babble. All right. This one's called... <laughs> it's from their Forbidden Fruits. <laughs> Sorry, mind out of the gutter. All right. This is called Apricot Amour. Uh, let's see if I can find this. Apricot Amour. Apricot. Apricot. Where are you? I don't see this on here anymore. So maybe I won't give you the scent notes on this one because I can't find it. Sorry, guys. I guess I sold out. I'm going to guess it has apricot. Oh, that is floral. I don't even know if there is apricot in this. It's very light. The apricot part, the actual bar is quite strong. I smell a lot of floral. It's powdery. Maybe rose in here. Which wouldn't surprise me because it's pink. Yeah, I don't know. I'm cold. This almost smells like more like a powdery rose. There's definitely rose in this. There's gotta be. And like, I don't know. There's a soapy note to this. I am interested to see what this is going to smell like. Um, I don't even know if there's really much apricot, at least not on cold, so I don't know about that one. All right, blue agave. Do they have this one? Yes, no, maybe so. Blue agave. 
a zesty blend of fresh and fruity scents combined with bursts of jasmine and water lily chased by subtle musk notes. This smells like a body wash. It, you know what it smells like? It smells a lot like Scentsy's, does it really? It smells like a little, oh my God, it's like a dupe for Scentsy's Make Waves, which I love. Although I feel like Make Waves is a little bit um, less soapy noting. This smells more body wash. I guess this one kind of does too, to be honest. But this one's a clearer, less, I don't know. It's not powdery, but I don't know what word I'm trying to use to describe this. But it smells a lot like Make Waves. So if you like Make Waves, you would really like this. Um, it's like a soapier version of that. Blue agave, which is weird because I don't think of agave as being like a soapy aquatic smell. Um, this is actually, pretty, I hope this warms pretty well, because if it does, I might get a couple more of these ones, too. Because this smell is in my Scentsy Club, and I could go on all day about this one. Anyways, this is not about Scentsy right now. Party late. Uh, last one I have is Moss Birchwood. This one is a interesting color. A mossy gray, I guess. Green gray. This is described as... Oh, I can already smell it. Um, you'll venture into the forest and discover the aromatic freshness of white birch wood combined with green moss and bronze cypress crackling over an open fire. Chestnuts roasting on an open... Okay, just kidding. This is... Oh, okay. This is giving me mad rustic lodge vibes for those of you who like scentsy stuff. But it's like, if... Okay, this is like, in sensey terms, this would be like if you... If Rustic Lodge and Bonfire Beach had a child, this would be what it would smell like. Because you get like that bonfire -y smokiness from like a Bonfire Beach campfire. But then you also get like the rustic forest lodge vibe. Ooh, this is good. It's on the more manly woodsy side of things. But it's very fresh, like a fresh forest. So the, I think they nailed it with this one. I don't, oh, they do say it's, there's birchwood in here, good. I was gonna say, like, I'm really confused with some of these scents that they have that are like, oh, this scent is apricot and it smells like rose. Like, where'd the apricot go? All right, so that's all I have. I think out of all of these, if I had to pick some of the ones that stood out for me, if you're interested in even trying Party Light uh, alongside me, um, I was a fan of this Blue Agave. That one I hope smells good. I might buy more. Um, the Coconut Teakwood one was like, oh, so good. Um, Dune Grass was a... Was that one I liked? I'm getting them confused now. There's too many. Too many scent notes. Too many names. Eh, I like it. I don't love it. It's like a fresh... It's like a seagrass. But it's like a qu fresh, clean, but grassy. So that may be. Um, and then of the rest of them, probably... I would say that... Santorini Sea Blossom, because that was the one that kind of vaguely reminds me of um, Rio Beach. Oh, and Moss Birchwood. Okay, so my top four picks, I guess, I guess five if we'll put Dune Grass in there. We'll keep them out for now. So my top four would be Blue Gave, Coconut Teakwood, Santorini Sea Blossom, and Moss Birchwood. And then yeah, honorary mention, Dune Grass. Now, as for the other ones, they're not bad but they didn't necessarily like jump out at me as an immaculate. So, um, and with anything, when I warm these, I might end up hating all of them. So who knows, or loving all of them. Um, so you probably see them periodically in my fragrance empty videos uh, because I don't do Scentsy empties and then other empties. I just kind of lump them all together because when they're empty, they're empty, who cares? 
Uh, anyways, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe if you'd like to see more of this content. Um, as you can see, I don't just do Scentsy stuff um, because I just like home fragrance. Uh, I don't do a whole lot of candle stuff, though, and that's a story for another time. But I hope you enjoyed this. Have a great day, and I will talk to you soon.